You can perform in front of people. You can be a musician. If you want, you can be in a band. It doesn't matter how old you are, because it's never too late, and it doesn't matter what you look like. This is what Riot Girl tells us. This is what Riot Girl tells women and girls who are always bombarded with messages, telling them, telling us, that most performance is the realm of young, attractive white men, and we might get a look in edgeways if we too are young, skinny and white, and if we want a career as a model or as a pop princess, mouthing someone else's lyrics, assuming of course that we manage to get hold of that. Um, I reject that. Uh, so, hi to everyone on them pesky names. I've been given the opportunity to do a guest video, which is very exciting. My name's Ruth, I'm a rock DJ, and I also play bass, and I shout quite a lot in the Riot Girl band, Not Right. And we're based in the Western Midlands. And I've been really empowered by the idea of Riot Girl in the last year, and I'd like to share that with you, because I think it's fantastic, and I think everyone should be able to share in that. So, if you haven't come across Riot Girl, which you probably have, but you might not have done, or you might not have heard that much about it, it's a feminist punk subculture that emerged in the early 1990s. It's associated with some pretty awesome bands, such as Bikini Kill, and Bratmobile, and Sleeta Kinney, and L7, and Huggy Bear, and many more. And there's quite a lot of contemporary articles about it, particularly in the last couple of years. I think there's quite a lot um, in blogs, places like The Guardian, The Independent, talking about Riot Girl. But it's all retrospective, it's looking back on the movement that was, particularly in the United States, which is where a lot of it emerged. And it's talking about it in terms of maybe the impact that it had, um, and the impact that it continues to have today, and some of the things that have arisen from it. But it's all based on this idea of Riot Girl being a thing in the past. And I don't think that has to be true. I don't think Riot Girl has to be a thing of the past. And I know there's quite a few people who were involved in the scene the first time round who think it's better that we move on and do something else. But there's this power to this name and this idea of anyone, particularly any woman, being able to pick up a guitar and play, pick up any instrument that she fancies and play. So I'll give you an example um, from my life. I've had a bass guitar for quite a few years. For many years it just sat in the corner of my room. So I had this idea that I might start learning to play it one day. But actually doing so was kind of a scary idea. And then I heard this. <laughs> And that was Bikini Kill telling me that here's a really, really, really straightforward song that you can learn to play, having never really played your bass before. And it will sound awesome. And that was right. And a year on, my band, we played London recently, we played Given Cambridge soon, and we're based mostly uh, near Coventry. And I've only really been playing bass for about a year. Our drummer has only really been playing drums for about a year, and he's a guy, and I think this is also something about punk in general, and rock girl in particular, it doesn't just have to be empowering for women, um, although I think it's important to focus on that, because we're the ones told so much and so often that we can't perform, and we can't play things, and we can't be cool, but it's still possible to do that, and right girl is still something we can collect around and be active around and say, we want to make music, or we want to make art, and we want this music and this art to be political. And we want to say something about gender inequality and how everything is full of shite at the moment. And we can do that. Um, so I'd encourage you to think about this. Go out, form something, join a band, be in a band. Do some amazing drawing or amazing writing and share it with people, because you can, because anyone can. Um, Sleeta Kinney, for instance, were a right girl band who started out, and it was very straightforward. Um, fast forward to when they 
disbanded in 2006 and they were doing some incredibly sophisticated and really, really cool and interesting music. And that's what happens if you just keep it up. You become good, you know. So, I want you to think about that. And I want you to also think about exploring Riot Girls is now. Because there's this fantastic blog um, called Riot Girl Berlin where they have links to music from bands all across the world. And uh, also on my band's website, notrightpunk.com, we've got a list of UK-based Riot Girl bands that are happening right now. It's really exciting. You can be a part of it. Anyone can be a part of it. That's the whole point. And we don't need to stick with ideas of how things should be or shouldn't be. Because we can create a positive, inclusive movement for change right now. Um, so thank you for listening to me. Listen to me. And I'd like to thank the, um, the collective, the pesky Dames, for having me. And finally, before I go, I've got a cat. So this is my lap the entire time. I'd like to share him with you. This is Greg. He's beautiful. Greg likes Greg, though. Or at least he doesn't object. So, let that be a message to you. <laughs>